Hi everyone, thanks for joining me for the January of 2017 readings. I can't believe it's a new year already. Happy New Year. Um, before we get into the readings, I want to tell you about a couple of things. These calendars are still available. They're really cool for 2017. They have Mercury Retrograde and all sorts of things. My books and decks, as always. Um, if you're watching this in December, I am still open for private readings until the year ahead readings are going to be over in a couple weeks as we move into January. So if you want to order, you can go ahead and order that. Um, thirdly, I am on Vimeo now with the Lots of Love readings. They're back and they're on Vimeo. Uh, Vimeo On Demand. It's a tarot reading and then I also pull some lots of love which are my casting lots that I've devised and I have several different kinds of uh, casting lots. The lots of love uh, because the reading is focused specifically on love. Now it's a tarot reading too and um, you can focus on any card that that can be applied to love but on these general readings I'm just doing general whatever comes up but on the lots of love it is specifically for love. It's from two perspectives a male and a female but it People have been telling me that sometimes they resonate more with the male and more with the female, but whatever. Go ahead and check it out. Um, again, with the calendars, books, decks, I want to thank you guys for all your support in 2016, and I look forward for doing the readings in 2017. Now, before we get it on, if you have seen the readings before, I'm going to go into a brief explanation of how the readings work. If you've seen them already, you know how it works. You can skip ahead. Have a great month of January. I look forward to reading for you. First of all, I want you to take time to gaze upon each card. There are messages in the image and text. Pause the video if you have to because the words will shift and change to reveal a message that is just for you. This is Empowerment Tarot. I'm not here to tell you how to lead your life and no one should. Trust your own intuition and allow your guides and angels to speak directly to you. If this reading does not resonate with you, be sure to check your rising and moon sign for further insights and illuminations. Finally, as to the court cards, which represent the people in the spread. Because this is a general reading for so many people, the court cards will not be gender specific. So even though I may refer to a queen as a female, as she is represented on the card, it really could be anybody in these general readings. So now without further ado, on to the reading. Hi Leo, thanks for joining me. For January 2017 reading if you can believe that All right, what's going on with Leo's anyway Leo 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 these all three want to come out it seems like okay Leo Leo Leo, 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 oh no, you gotta go, mm. what is that, yeah, 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 Louie, 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 Leo, Leo, <laughs> anyways, Leo, what is going on, you got the first card out, it's the magician, so you're feeling empowered, you're feeling ready to, roll out here. You know, we're going to be, you know, know what's happening in 2017. You're going to have two eclipses in your sign. So this is going to be a big year for Leos, that's for sure. The first one starts out up in February 10th, but we're doing January right now. Magician is take control of your life. Be the master of your destiny. Steer your ship. Steer your uh, life in the direction that you want to take it. Uh, it does seem like there's some sort of offer coming in here. Somebody's making you an offer and you're like, yes, I want this. You know, it's not, um, this card is a card of, oh, I'm pondering it, oh, I'm thinking about it, but you don't have to think about, I feel like you don't have to think about this at one minute. You're like, yes, this is exactly what, like, you're waiting. You're waiting for this offer to come. It's just like, yeah, girl, I got it. Because, um, you've got the judgment card here, too. And that is, you've paid some debt. You've paid some dues. You've paid some debt. There's, you've gone through some cycle of suffering or karmic debt, and now you're, you've come out on the other side, and you're just, you know, fired up and ready for anything. This is a karmic reward when this card shows up. I always look at what is it pointing at. Now, it's pointing at the lovers. So some of you are going to be definitely having a big-time love relationship, and if you're interested in a reading focusing just on love, be sure to check out my Vimeo page where I have the love readings for everybody. Um, oh... 
Leo the Lion, and of course the cat has to come and get in the action here because we're doing the Leo the Lion. Here's he's still. Hello, everybody. <laughs> okay, so magic's going to help with the reading. And actually, a lot of times that really helps me too. He brings like a little bit of extra energy. So let's see what Madge has to say here. Anyway, so that horn points right at the lovers. So some of you have been through a lot of bad relationships and maybe finally met the real love of your life. Who knows? The Ace of Rods is there, so for many of you, it may be kind of new. You know, you've got this Ace of Rods. Uh, this is the seeds planted that are blooming and growing. So it could have been that you've planted the seeds in the past, too. And now they're really starting to flourish, because just like this one points, and this one points, this one points, and it points up at this offer. So this could have been you planted these seeds, and now it is happening. You know, it's actually going to start to happen. There is a Queen of Swords in reverse, so there's somebody that's like a throws a little bit of a wrench in the works. She's in reverse, but you know, I am not even that worried about this, whatever it is. You know, he or she, if you watch the intro, you would know that it could be male or female. But this person could be an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. You know, we are moving into the sign of Aquarius during the month of January, and that's going to be after the 19th, we're going to be moving into the sign of Aquarius. So that could be coming up around that time. Because look, at we've got a 1, a 1, and a 9 here, too. Look, 1, 9, 19th, you know, could be. The other thing that happens uh, in Aquarius this month, in an air sign, which is Aquarius, is we're going to have the new moon in Aquarius on the 27th. So that's your partnership house, too. So it could totally be something around that, towards that end of the month. This person maybe isn't happy about this new development that you're pondering, or this new thing. But you know what, I feel like they're just going to get over it really quick, or you're going to get over it really quick. You're, like, you, I feel like if this person is not somebody who's important to you, you'd be just like, well, I don't really care what they think, because I'm in control, or I'm the master here. Um, if the, you do care about them, if this is your love partner or somebody, and they're... They're the one. Look, they're just, just so lovey. Look at him. He's just being so lovey-dovey. So I think a lot of you, this is your love partner. Um, they're going to be okay. They're going to come around. They're going to come around when this thing starts to bear fruit. And they start seeing all this money rolling in and stuff. It's like, well, maybe this was... Well, I don't know. Maybe... <laughs> maybe this isn't such a bad idea after all. <laughs> Yeah, because that's what I feel like. They don't want any part of it. Look how they've totally turned their back on it. They're just like, I don't want any part of this. But I feel like it's not its not that big of a setback, no matter what. So if it's somebody that you're not that tight with, it's just like, well, good riddance. See ya. I'm doing it anyway. If it's somebody that you are really close to, they're going to come around. You know, It's not that big of an impedance, no matter what. See, that said, it says independence, but it's changed to impedance. That's so cool how this deck works. I love it. There, this is related to some money, too. I mean, maybe there's a love thing going on. Yeah, that could be. But there's some kind of big money thing happening. With When these two cards show together, Magician and Nine of Pentacles, and they're in the same row, too, and in the same reading, almost always this is something you're doing independently, whether it's your own business or an independent um, project that you're setting up or some sort of... Um, I don't know, for some of you, I feel like it's going to be sort of like a seminar or a talk or a gathering of people or something like that, you know. I'm feeling like that's kind of what it is. Like, it might not really be your main gig. It's sort of like this little side thing you're going to do. Or even maybe sort of like a trade show. It sort of feels like it's this place where you're going to go and a lot of people are going to be there and come. So I don't know if you're the one organizing it and making it happen or you're just an attendee. Uh, either way, whether you're just attending it, it's going to be very favorable for you. Say so, so so it might be like a, a convention and that you would get a lot of good information from that would help your business, you know, or is your business of putting on this convention or this show or something, or maybe it's, for some of you, it could be like sort of like an a, like a art show or arts and crafts, you know, one of those kind of deals where you go and sell your wares like separately from your day gig. But I'll tell you what, I feel like it's coming up on your day gig. I mean, I feel like it's 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 getting there, like it's competing, like it's going to be, you know, it's going to do very well. Let's just put it that way. It's going to be very well and, and very flourishing. You have the High Priestess here, too. This, okay, the High Priestess is your intuition, your inner knowing, your inner knowledge, the Divine Feminine. And um, from this High Priestess, this springs forth from her. And it lines up with this um, 
this offer, but this is also that hand coming out of the clouds. So you always have to remember that this could be an idea that's coming from spirit. So I feel like if you stop and tune in and feel and sense that you're going to see, um, you're going to see a lot of uh, things popping forward out of it, you know. So you, you, you listen, you sense, and then you implement, and it flourishes. You're in a very favorable cycle here, it's, it certainly looks like. Um, still make card is down here, so there's some people that you're going to run up against that just aren't going to want to come along with you, and so be it, like I said before. Um, some of you, maybe this is your, maybe this is your ex-relationship and they're just like, you're breaking up and you're just like, you know what, we never saw eye to eye anyway. We just never saw eye to eye. And maybe a new relationship is coming in. Uh, if you, again, if you want to know more about, specifically about love, head over to Vimeo because I do do this, uh, the love reading over there. But this is a good month for you. This is a culmination of a lot of stuff. This is a lot of stuff that's been going on for a while with this judgment card here. And now it's reached the pinnacle. It's reached the, uh, the, the you've paid your dues. And now you're reaping, reaping the rewards. And it's very favorable. Okay, so let's take a look. What is that animal totem going to be for Leo? And by the way, if you're watching this in December, the calendars for 2017 are still available. They're really cool astrology calendars with... Mercury retrograde and cool stuff that you can easy to understand. I've got my books, I've got my decks, which by the way, I don't know if I mentioned. Rock and Roll Prophetess, this is my deck, and uh, Rock and Roll Tarot, and the Animal Totem, which is also my deck. Um, check out the love readings, check out um, the year aheads are still available for private readings for a little while longer. Find all that stuff up on my site, check it out. So, brother, check it out now. Okay. What is the animal totem for Leo for January? The dolphin. Love the dolphin. One of my faves. I had a dog that I felt was had dolphin energy. I felt like incarnated as a as a dolphin. And my buddy here, Rocco, I was looking at him. I think he might be. So I wonder if um, if like dolphins are trying to incarnate. You know, they were a dolphin and then they try to incarnate over into a more of a land creature or something. But I digress. I know it's just kind of off the wall, but I definitely Eddie, my brother's dog, was a dolphin. He had totally dolphin energy. But anyways, let's read this. Optimist, clairaudient, spirit guide, star seed. Joyous interaction of fun and play, sexuality. Caring for those less fortunate, embracing personal freedom, respecting others' choices. You know, this is what I'm talking about with this respecting others' choices. You sometimes you just can't get them to come along, and nor should you try. You know, they don't want to come along. They don't have to come along. The magician is not waiting for anybody. You know, he's he's a, in, he's one. He is number one. It's his number. But he also his stance. He looks like a number one. You know. So. You know, looking out for number one, that's not really the thing. But no, people don't have to come along. Respecting others' choices. If they don't want to come along, don't try to make them come along. Some people are, don't, you're not going to see eye to eye with. Don't see things your way. That doesn't mean that you have to, it's like all or nothing. Either we all have to do it or nobody does it. You can do it on your own. And just be respectful. That's all. Respecting others' choices. Just say respectfully, I understand that you don't want to do this. But respectfully, I'm telling you that I'm doing it anyway. And again, if this is a long-term relationship, they're going to come along. Again, once they see all this success and good stuff coming your way, it's like, oh, well, maybe this isn't such a bad idea after all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, Leos. Um, hey, everybody. Thanks for all your support in the prior years, including uh, 2016, which is ending. And I am looking forward to doing more readings and more interaction with you in the year 2017. Please check the eye in the sky for all my wares, the calendars, the books. All that stuff that I sell makes it possible for me to do these free readings every month, right? And, of course, check out the uh, Vimeo for only $2 so you can get um, your, your love reading. Thank you guys for subscribing. The subscribe button's down here. I appreciate that so much. And liking and sharing and everything. If you like these animal totems, I post a daily one on my website, which you can find up there or below. And also, I post a weekly one on Facebook, which you can find below. So if you want more free animal totem stuff, I do put out more free animal totem stuff on other, through other angles, through other media. 
Hey to Leos, thank you for everything you do by liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, and donating. That's another thing that really, really helps helps the cause here, okay? <laughs> Remember that you are love and beauty incarnate. Have a great month of January and a happy new year. Bye.